A worker at Water Gremlin is blowing the whistle on what he says are systemic problems at the manufacturing plant. His concerns range from health hazards to worker safety. WCCO's investigation into the White Bear Township plant began four years ago, leading to more accountability and enforcement action. For the first time publicly, a longtime worker told WCCO's Jennifer Merrily things aren't changing fast enough, and he's ready to talk about it. Stephen Wirtz, um, tw over 25 years at Water Gremlin. Stephen Wirtz says since Water Gremlin got in trouble over pollution violations four years ago, he's tried to be part of the solution. I'm a training coordinator at Water Gremlin, and I care about people's health and their livelihood, and I feel like our lives are in jeopardy. And I've been speaking up numerous and numerous times, and, and I don't get anywhere. He says he didn't know about the excessive emissions of TCE until the state slapped the manufacturing plant with $7 million in fines and corrective action in early 2019. The toxic chemical known to cause cancer and birth defects was released at elevated and unsafe levels into the surrounding neighborhood for more than 15 years. 95 people have sued the company, alleging cancer, chronic illness, and wrongful death. Since then, he says he took it upon himself to learn more about the inner workings of the White Bear Township plant. So you're willing to risk your job? Absolutely. To speak up? Absolutely. 100%, without a doubt, absolutely. You still are by talking to absolutely. us. Absolutely. In fact, you give me chills right now. I don't know if I, if I can say that on air, but yes, absolutely, without a doubt. What is the overall concern for you with Water Gremlin? Overall concern, uh, there's a lot of issues. Um, health and safety is really a big one. Wirt says he's witnessed persistent problems. Lead tops his list. The plant produces lead fishing sinkers and battery terminals. We've had that pass before with uh, migrating lead home to children. A WCCO investigation led to the Department of Labor and Industry temporarily shutting down the plant in October of 2019 due to lead migration. Workers were unknowingly bringing lead home, poisoning some kids. The migration of lead is an unreasonable interference with the public's right not to be exposed to lead. A judge declared Water Gremlin a public health nuisance. It was allowed to reopen with forced improvements and court oversight. What does this show? This shows that we're extremely high in our transition area. Wirt showed us recent lead sampling results. Month after month, charts show lead levels above their goal in certain areas. We don't do enough. Whatever it is, we're not doing enough. He says he's careful, but recently failed what's called a lead wipe test and showed us this email depicting how some of it may be happening. We threw contaminated booties into the garbage. How should they be disposed of instead? They need to be in a hazardous barrel, okay. labeled and the lid closed. His concerns extend beyond lead. He worries about the safety inside. Operators on the machines that are not supposed to be running machines by themselves, we're not training them. In this February 2023 email, Wirtz writes, how does he run machines without being trained? The next day, another email shows someone did order the training. I bring up a lot of this stuff at actually the um, safety committee meeting, the lockout tagout training, the order lack off, and the um, lack of Melbourne test. So for months and months, there's notes and documentation where I bring that stuff up. He points out the issues he's raised in the safety committee meeting notes. Another concern? He says he's seen violations with how chemicals are handled and transferred. Sometimes they drop off this chemical in, in South Campus, and they bring it to the shipping area, and then the forklift puts it out by door seven, and it just sits there. It needs this, it's a serious chemical, and it needs to be set in its own department. The state pollution control agency previously fined the plant over hazardous waste violations. Wirt says he's raised these same concerns with the company and state agencies. When I went to my managers, I went to my boss and asked for help, but I, to no avail. So I did reach out to MPC, Ramsey County, and of course OSHA. So yes, I did reach out because um, I wanted to change. I wanted a different. OSHA recently opened a new health investigation into Water Gremlin as a result of Wirt's coming forward. Ramsey County said a recent complaint helped inform its latest inspection. Wirtz is asking for more. I'm worried about MPC, OSHA, and, and Ramsey County. I want, them, I want to find out if we matter or not. Our lives are in jeopardy. We need help. I'm pleading for help. Do you fear people will get hurt if things continue the way they are? Oh, uh, there's no doubt. There's no way, there's no doubt people will not get hurt um, if we don't wake up like right now.
The president of Water Gremlin sent a statement saying in part, employees are encouraged to raise any safety concerns at any time, directly or anonymously, and they investigate every safety report and take corrective action when necessary. It went on to say the well-being of our employees is of utmost importance. Do you think Water Gremlin should still be open? Wow, that's a tough question. I so believe in giving second chances. I so believe in forgiving to move on. I'm so compassionate about that. But I also believe we have three or four years to where we had to turn our ways, change our ways, and we haven't done it. We haven't done it. I feel bad for the people and myself that would lose their jobs, would have to start all over again, but I don't think we deserve it right now. In White Bear Township, Jennifer Merrily, WCCO News. Wartz is currently taking a few weeks of vacation to give him time to decide what's next. We reached out to MPCA, Ramsey County, and OSHA. You can find their full statements and the plant statement at WCCO.com, and you can see our earlier investigations by searching Water Gremlin.